Hello guys, New Apple Times here, welcome to a new video and today I have yet another unboxing for you as many of you know and if you don't know I'm telling you now I got a 16 inch MacBook Pro uh, which means that coming from a 2012 MacBook Pro I need a lot of USB-C dongles and yeah, this video is about one of them it's the USB-C to USB uh, adapter so yeah, we're gonna unbox it and then use it and see how it works. Okay, so first let's proceed with the unboxing. It's gonna be pretty easy. We'll just pull, open, slide out. Remove this from here. Remove that from there. And as you can see, it's pretty straight, straightforward. It has the USB-C connector on one side, the USB-A female on the other to attach it, and then you would just connect this to the Mac and connect something here, and this, whatever is here, will be able to be shown on the Mac. So we're going to do just that and try and see how it works. So what you should do next, once you have your Mac, you just take your adapter, which is right here, and plug it right in, and then you can take whatever USB device you have. I happen to have a hard drive here. So we can just take it and plug it right in. Of course it works with any USB thing, whether it's, for example, a mouse or, I don't know, a USB drive, flash drive, or really anything, to, which is USB, a camera, whatever. So yeah, you just put it and as you see, it appears here in the desktop. You can also find it in the finder, but yeah, we just go to the desktop here, and then we can access all the files in the disk, which is quite full. <laughs> I have all my photos here, and some Final Cut libraries, but yeah, now you can just copy this stuff from one place to another and stuff. And then if you want to eject it, you don't just pull right out, you should first uh, eject it via software, like this, click in the small arrow, and then you see it disappears, and then now you can eject it. Hmm. It was a little hard, but yeah, now it comes out. And you can either eject the adapter itself, or first the USB. Oh, no. It was quite hard. But yeah, pretty much this is how it works. As you saw, it's that simple. So yeah, now let's go ahead and finish the video. So, as you saw, this is the USB-C to USB adapter. Uh, yeah, the working phase is quite simple, you just plug one thing and then plug the other and that's it. So now on to my personal opinion. Um, yeah, this is not a cheap adapter, it runs for 25 euro I believe. Uh, I got it 10% uh, off, but yeah, like 22 euro. So it is not cheap for a USB, say, a USB adapter, especially being only one. Uh, but yeah, um, this is what Apple charges for it, I'm fine, like it's not a lot of money either, I guess, but there are definitely some cheaper options that you can find right there. I wasn't able to find on the website whether or not this adapter supports USB 3.0 or 3.1, which would be nice for faster transfer speeds. I mean, that's an old standard, so I'm, I'm really hoping that it does, because I mean, my 2012 MacBook supported it, so I'm guessing that it does. However, in the uh, Apple's website, I saw that the Lightning to USB adapter says Lightning to USB 3 and this one doesn't. So I don't know why. And I also couldn't find it in the specification sheet or anything. But yeah, if you know, you can let me know. Tell me down in the comments. And but yeah. So should you buy this? I don't know, probably not. Probably yes. I don't know. Like for the for the price of just this, you can probably get a, a hub, like a USB C hub that has like HDMI, plenty of USB ports and many other things. However, the speed of those may not be as fast as these. So yeah, that's just up to you. Uh, so far I'm fine with this. It's also very good that it's plastic or not aluminum or anything because of that way it doesn't scratch your Mac. And yeah, I just like Apple accessories in general, so I bought this and all the other USB-C accessories. Um, but yeah. So, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comments. And yeah, I have many more Apple videos coming, as always, every single week, whether it's unboxings, or news, or rumors, 
So yeah, subscribe if you don't want to miss any of them. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.